Well, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing great today. Today is a super exciting day for me um, because I'm going to give you a tour of our house. Um, we did recently redecorate some of the rooms. We painted some of them and we themed some of them to uh, some Disney theming. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to take you around give you a little sneak peek uh, inside our home life and I just hope you enjoy it. Come on in. I just walked in the front door and our front walkway area, I'm not even sure really what it's called, um, but I will go ahead and I will insert a little bit of before footage right here. <music> to it. We did paint the walls and the trim in this room and we themed it uh, Main Street USA. So let me turn the camera around and give you a little look at uh, how we decorated this front little area. So when you walk in the left wall we have a little dapper dance uh, on some sheet music and the sheet music is when you wish upon a star. Then if you turn onto the opposite wall, we have the Main Street Confectionery sign. And then we have the Main Street Bakery. Now, if we continue forward and we look up, we have a photo there of the train from the Magic Kingdom. On the left, we have Casey's Corner. And then below Casey's Corner is the ice cream shop area um, where we have a little banana split. We have a little Dole Whip and we have a little strawberry milkshake along with just a candle, a lantern, and then the sign that says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. This sign, I believe, can be found uh, in the Magic Kingdom when you first walk in. Then, if we go over to the right, this is our little, like, confectionery area. Um, so I have just some cupcakes, uh, candied apples or caramel apples. Um, and it's on my little mini cake stand. We have some little apothecary candy jars. And then down here, there's some bubble gum and just some flowers and a little candle down there in a tray. And then if you look up here, there is Cinderella Castle. So let me give you a quick scan of our front little area here. Now that we've redone it. So that is when you first walk into our house. That is what you see. So the second room that we redid uh, when we redecorated the house is our parlor. Now it is not Disney themed. It wasn't before, it's not now, but I still wanted to show it to you because, you know, it's part of our house and this is a house tour. So uh, let me go ahead and insert now a little bit of what it looked like before, right now. you 
we did paint the parlor as well. So the walls are a completely different color. Um, the only furniture that we really changed was we did add a bookshelf, but we really, really think that uh, it really makes it look a lot better. It's kind of darker in here, but this is the room that we come in on the weekends. We maybe have a glass of wine. We play a record on our record player or maybe play some, uh, you know, music off of Google or something. And we just kind of hang out in here and just relax. And this is one of our favorite rooms in the house because it's just so relaxing uh, with the lighting because it is one of the darker rooms. Steve is from Oklahoma, so the maps on the walls are from Oklahoma. This is our little vintage bar. This is a new little bar cart that I got Steve recently. And then there's more Oklahoma maps. So this is the parlor. And we did also another thing that we added was these gold light plates. We really thought those were cool. Anyway, so there's our second room. I am now standing in our living room. As you can see behind us is the front walkway. Over here is the parlor. And then to the right is the kitchen. So the living room, uh, the kitchen does open up into the living room. I am going to go ahead and I don't completely have a before picture of the living room, but I do have a photo of kind of nothing in here when we, cause we did paint out in the living room and the kitchen got painted. Um, so what we did is we pulled everything off of the shelves, off of the walls. I do have some footage that I'm going to show you uh, with basically the living room empty. And I'll go ahead and show that to you now. the after picture, um, the living room is Disney themed. We decided to theme the living room kind of like a animal kingdom slash African theme. So um, it's nothing too overboard, but it's, I think it's very tastefully done. So we do have, let me show you first, on the walls, we have uh, the decorations are these masks. There's one there, and then we have one here, and then there is one over here. We have a built-in bookshelf, and that's mostly where the decorations are for the living room. You can see more dog beds down on the floor. Um, our dogs are spoiled, and everywhere they go, they have to have a nice comfy bed to lay on. So we have this couch, pretty standard couch, an ottoman. We have like an African drum. We have these animals here. We added this gold, what is that, a leopard? An elephant. Of course we have our fireplace. We've got a turtle. We have a giraffe. And we got this neat little figurine. I think it came from Home Goods. And we thought that was kind of neat. And then another elephant. All right, so our next room is going to be our master bedroom. Now, the master bedroom is kind of plain right now. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, we do want to theme it um, like Mickey and Minnie or Mickey and Friends or something to that effect. Um, but we haven't actually gotten that far yet um, with the decorating. We did start buying some plush, uh, some plush Mickeys and Minis and other characters. So right now we just kind of have them displayed in the room. And that's about it as far as Disney theming. But hang in there, guys, because I'm saving the best for last. We have some really, really exciting Disney themed rooms coming up.
So let me go ahead and show you our master room, what it looks like now. So this is about as bright as it gets. It is nighttime right now. Um, so I don't have any natural light for you. Sorry about that. Um, queen bed, couple of nightstands, a little bit of art on the wall. Um, we do have some dog beds here. We have dog beds over there. Here is our dresser. And I am doing laundry. <laughs> We have our Mickey plushes over here. We're not really sure what we're going to do with them. So we're just kind of displaying them for now. We've got a regular mini. We've got German mini, you know, a couple of others. We've got American Mickey. Uh, we've got a France and a Can Canadian Mickey. Um, got a little Donald Duck over there. And then over here, um, and we have Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, and Dumbo. So that is our master bedroom. The next room that I'm going to do for you guys is the master bath. Um, it was a pretty major makeover. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the before right here. <laughs> basic bathroom nothing too fancy um, we did paint the bathroom and completely redecorated it and the theme for our master bathroom is the enchanted tiki room or better known as the enchanted bathroom we painted the walls green I found some of these really cute tiki room bath mats that's the one for the shower and that's the one for the bathtub. We added some plants. So I added this plant over here. I've got this bamboo tray for the bathtub. And I found this super cute, um, I don't know, it's like a tiki bowl. I don't know what you would call it, but it's like a, a light that looks like a flame. This is Steve's sink where he's got a little plant over there as well. We, Added this little tiki holder where he has his razor. Um, our little pineapple room freshener. Then if you moved, this is our closet and we added these really cute wall decorations. There's one on each side of the door. And then over here is my side of the bathroom. This is my sink. I added another plant right here. Um, I have this really cute little bamboo box or wooden box. I just keep kind of, uh, I keep hair ties and stuff like that in it. I found this cute uh, Enchanted Tiki Room Adventureland sign. And we found these hand towels. They have little tiki birds on them. So if you move over here, this is where the toilet is. And I found this cute welcome to our enchanted bathroom Adventureland sign. And I believe I found that on Etsy. Open the bathroom and we have another plant back here. I got a wooden garbage can and toilet bowl cleaner. 
another mask on the wall in here. And if we turn around, I added this little wooden bamboo looking stand where we have another plant. And then that's where we keep our toilet paper, um, tissue, wipes and such. Uh, also, I forgot to show you on Steve's side, his sink. We have an enchanted tiki room photo up there as well in a little bamboo frame. So I'll give you a quick scan of the bathroom, Steve's sink. The tiki masks, my sink, our sign, bathtub, bath mat, shower mat, and then it's a pretty standard shower. So that is our enchanted tiki bathroom. So the next room I'm gonna show you is our kitchen. It is not themed. Uh, we did paint it and that's about it. I do not have any before pictures of the kitchen, unfortunately. But, you know, I'll show it to you. The kitchen overlooks the living room. So if you look at it from this angle, we just came out of our master bedroom. We've got the living room, the front walkway, the parlor, and then the kitchen is over here. To the right, this is actually our back porch. We have a couple of bar stools over here in the bar, a little diffuser, my Snow White, lounge fly. Over to the right, we have the dog dishes. That's where they eat. It's our kitchen table. You know, it's a pretty standard kitchen, um, but this is it. I am back in the front walkway when you first walk in the house. We are getting to my favorite part of the house now. Um, the next room is actually kind of a double. The hallway and the guest bathroom are both themed the same. And that theming is Haunted Mansion. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, enter some footage here of the hallway and the guest bathroom. first and then we'll go into the bathroom. So it is a little bit dark because, you know, the Haunted Mansion is dark. Um, as you can see, we painted the walls purple and we tried to match the color of the purple walls in the Haunted Mansion as close as we could. On the right side, we have the sconces with candles. And there's also another one down there that you could probably see. And if I come back to the beginning and I go to the left, we have, this is a picture of the ballroom seen from the Haunted Mansion ride. And then next to that is a photo of Madame Leota. And I was able to find these beautiful gold frames. Um, this one is definitely my favorite favorite frame and my favorite photo. It's just the colors are just so bright and vivid and bold. Um, we painted the doors gray. Above the bathroom door, we have the Haunted Mansion sign. And then at the end of the hallway, we have the four photos part of the Haunted Mansion ride. And it just happened that our hallway was kind of a circular 
you know, it's a little bit circular, so it kind of works perfect because we had the four walls to put the four photos. So that is the hallway. Let me go back here and maybe give you a view from a little bit further away. That direction and then this direction. Continuing with the Haunted Mansion theme, like I stated earlier, we have our guest bathroom, which is this door right here underneath the Haunted Mansion sign. You can see a little uh, candle there, candelabra, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights so you can see what it looks like. We have a mirror, little uh, flower arrangement with some black roses and pink sparkly flowers and whatever these things are, I don't really know. <laughs> um, this is my son's bathroom, so he does have, you know, his, his toiletries out. Um, we have a candelabra here, our Welcome Foolish Mortals sign. We have hand towel that matches the Haunted Mansion wallpaper, as well as some rugs that also match the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. We have a clock that also matches the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. We have another candelabra over here with a Beware of the Hitchhiking Ghost uh, decorations. Uh, we do have some hitchhiking ghosts over top of the light switch. The Grim Grinning Ghost sheet music with the Grim Grinning Ghost on it. The shower is pretty basic. It's just a shower. Another hand towel back here that matches the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. The garbage can has hitchhiking ghosts on it. I forgot to show you that we've got Matt and Leota on the toothbrush holder, and we've got the wallpaper design on the little cup that my son keeps his razors in. Uh, I added a little Bath and Body Works kind of Halloween looking wallflower, I think that's what it's called. So that is the Haunted Mansion hallway and uh, bathroom theming. All right, so coming out of the bathroom and at the end of the hallway, the door on the far left, this is Steve's office. Um, it is not themed and there are more dog beds. We have uh, so many dog beds in this house. It is ridiculous. Uh, this is just a standard office. Um, this is a picture that I had hanging up in my apartment uh, before I moved in with Steve. Um, Steve has his certificates over here from where he graduated and got his degrees. Um, this is just office stuff, you know, pretty basic, nothing too fancy. We've got a candle, we've got a photo of my son and I at Discovery Co. Steve's bookshelf with some mementos of his parents. Um, this is his desk. and our printer and closet that just has a bunch of random items in it. So that's about it for the office. So coming out of Steve's office, this room right here is my son's room. I'm not going to show you that room because he's an 18 year old teenager and that room is not only, uh, does not only smell like an 18 year old teenager, but it's pretty scary. It's very messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one for this video. Hope you guys don't mind. But the last room that I am going to show you is my office. And it is my favorite room in the house. So this is my office. You may have gotten a sneak peek of it in other videos or photos if you follow our Instagram. Um, over on the right, I took the closet doors off and I put some curtains up. I have this pink glittery sparkly sign that says always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Um, down here is a bookshelf where I have my room. It used to be Paris themed, so in transferring it over to Disney, I still have a couple of leftover Paris items. 
Um, but this La Vie en Rose Minnie Mouse Paris mug kind of goes with it. I got this at Paris at Epcot. Uh, I've got my orange bird bag, my Dumbo, got a Mickey Mouse, I've got a little Dapper Dan. But this is kind of like a Star Wars shelf. I've got little lightsabers, a couple of bags. I've got an Ewok bag, I think. I've got Chewy. I've got Bo Peep. I've got my Harvey's bag, a Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney purse. This is my Dooney and Burke that Steve got me um, a couple Christmases ago. This is a one-of-a-kind collector's purse made out of an old Mickey Mouse Club record. Uh, over here, not really any Disney stuff. I just bought this mask holder, but I've not hung it up yet. But I think it's so cute. It has the castle. It has... Um, uh, the Mickey Tower, Water Tower, it has a Tree of Life, and it has the uh, Spaceship Earth from Epcot. Um, this rose, my son, my oldest son, got me for Christmas. And then I just have my perfume. I've got a TV. Um, I do subscribe to WDW Magazine, so... Um, this is my stack of WDW magazines. I have quite a few of them, as you can see. Um, and then I got this, Steve and I got this photo when we toured, uh, the Boardwalk, Disney Vacation Club at Boardwalk. Got my Wilderness Explorer book. Uh, over here I have some more Disney bags. There's Toy Story. I've got some Pez dispensers. I've got my... B, and this is a Honey Dukes bag from Universal, Ghost Host backpack, I think that's Lounge Fly maybe, yep, that's Lounge Fly, I've got my grape soda, uh, there's a wallet that matches my Snow White purse, or backpack, this is kind of my Harry Potter shelf, where I've got a Hogwarts bag, I've got a Golden Snitch, Lip Balm, and my wand. And then just some more Disney bags, wallets, change purses, that type of thing. I've got my, uh, all of my magic bands and uh, stuff are on this shelf. This is a Star Wars backpack and this is my Winnie the Pooh backpack down there. Um, I have this beanbag chair that... I just kind of keep that on the floor for if, you know, anybody wants to just lay on a beanbag chair. These are some of my ears, my Disney ears, on the wall in a holder. I've got uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 16 sets of ears up here. Um, but then I have six additional ones on another wall that you'll see in a minute. This is my desk. This is where I do my work and my editing. Um, so over on this wall are my additional ears. Um, I've got Snow White, Cinderella. Those are my newest Christmas ears from this past Christmas. Steamboat Willie, Minnie Mouse, and Mickey Mouse. So I've got my lamp. There's little Princess Missy. She loves to lay on my chair. A Paris uh, Eiffel Tower photo, which I will eventually play, uh, replace because I do want more Disney stuff on the walls. Another lounge fly bag. Some of my popcorn holders, my orange bird. This is my Enchanted Rose that Steve got me for Christmas. I don't know if you can see, you know, how well you can see it with the lighting, but it's so, so beautiful. Um, another popcorn bucket. I've got, uh, Steve's sister got this for me for Christmas. There's a little ghost in there. It's the hat box ghost. Uh, 
And then there's my hitchhiking ghost, Madam Leota. And just some more Disney stuff. And then on the way out, I've got my door hanger that says my happy place. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's a tour of our house. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. We really, really appreciate all the viewers that, uh, that do watch our channel. We appreciate you guys more than you know. If you have any questions or if there's any room that you liked uh, the best, I'd really like to know. So if you'll just tell us in the comments below which room was your favorite. We appreciate you all. We love you all. And we'll see you real soon. Bye.